Okay, so I'm going to review Ale Alex Johnson's new latest album, or her debut album. This came out last year, and it's called Voodoo. So, <clears throat> before I get into uh, the songs, I'm gonna I'm gonna start with Alex Johnson. I mean, um, I'm not the guy to go to if you want to hear my opinion of Instant Star, seeing as how. I never got past the first episode. It's not. I'm not saying it's bad. I'm not. I wasn't saying. I'm not saying that because I actually liked the first episode, but it wasn't enough for me to watch the whole show. <clears throat> and according to pe to my friends and people I know who like Instant Star, uh, they say it was a pretty good show. It's like it, it's different from like Degrassi, where Degrassi is the most like over the top. They always pull out like the most controversial, um, controversial plot twists. Yet they called Instant Star more like it feels more genuine and more realistic. And even though there were parts that were not realistic, I mean, it, I, it was more, it was more genuine. I, I guess I said that already. A lot of people didn't like the ending though, and I read what the ending was, I'm not going to spoil what it was, but if I if I were a person who watched the entire show, and judging from what I read of the ending, yeah, I think I'd... no... It, it, it depends, because the ending they have is... I'm not going to spoil it, but it's not bad, but it's like, it's different. Oh, sorry, I have an allergy right now. So... Outside of that, um, the reason why I have to bring up Instant Star is because since this is her debut album, I know a lot of people were expecting, like, the song, the album to sound like Instant Star. Now, uh, when I listen to the album, it definitely does not, okay, there are some, there are, you know, similarities to the songs in Instant Star, but most of, for the most part, it sounds different like you can tell that Alex Johnson wants this album to be more different because she wants it to be more of her instead of um oh I have my glasses on the whole time um uh, she wants it to be more of her style rather than her character on the shows like she wants to be herself in this which is understandable so whereas the songs in Instant Star kind of sound more pop like better suited for the charts I mean it's not saying that these songs are not suited for the charts but they are more alternative like they have they have more influences to it like you can hear like 60s influence in there or alternative rock and you can even hear some like odd like I, I ran on Wikipedia that they listed this under world music you know world music is like for um, like me like music exotic music or something like that and yeah i mean like the album is definitely different but it's it's a pretty good solid album i mean like i thought it was pretty short but each song is pretty solid and and even though i listened to the whole album once the songs i listened to i actually liked all 11 songs i have the list right here and uh, if I had to pick, my favorite would actually be Hurricane Girl. But my least favorite, ironically, would have to be the lead single that was going to be... Uh, the single that was turned into a music video, Trip Around the World. And I'm not saying that's a bad song or anything, it's just... I, I don't know, I, I, don't, I like the other songs better than it. And <clears throat> other than that, do I have any other comments? Um, uh, I'd suggest just listening to it because I already gave out what the whole album sounds like. Like each song has each song has like a certain like kind of sound to it where it doesn't sound like it doesn't sound like common pop. It sounds like it sounds like pop, but she add, added in her own style. That's what I'm trying to say. And her voice, her Alex Johnson's voice, uh, you can on 
Uh, first off, you're gonna notice that you can hear her accent really well, like her Canadian accent. But her singing, her singing is pretty good. I mean, I noticed that like I think it was gonna get it, where like sometimes her high notes were like a little, little but mo for the most part she sings pretty good. And the lyrics, mm, yeah, I, I don't really, I don't really look to lyrics, but the lyrics were good. Except I remember there was one song. What was this song? I think it was Taker. Where she, where the lyrics kind of confused me, where she was mentioning a guy named Steve, and I was like, whoa. Um, other than that, I suggest listening to the album. I mean, I can't, I can't really go further into it. Like, it's something that you have to listen to. Like, if you like pop music, you'll like this because it's, it's different than what you get on the radio. And. Hearing it is it actually sounded like it actually felt like a breath breath of fresh air. I mean, like it. I heard this kind of music before, but after so many, uh, after so long, so long of hearing like music on the radio nowadays, this was this actually felt like new to me when I heard it, and it actually shows me because you know this album's not really that famous. Yeah, because you know it's not it's not um, popular but it's definitely a good album and if you're not a fan of pop music uh, at least listen to it once because it's not it doesn't sound like like you know the pop music you get nowadays so yeah I like that one